guys, how's it going? Um, I hope you're all doing well, especially right now if some of you are in lockdown, in quarantine. It's such a strange time, isn't it? It's just weird. But anyway, I hope you're staying strong, you're staying healthy. So I just really wanted to make a video about kind of all my latest news. Um, it just seemed a much better way to get it out there rather than write sort of blog posts or social media posts. So for the last sort of 18 months, I've kind of been a little bit quiet and I've been working on about five or six new solo projects. And um, the reason why I kind of decided to do that was so that I could have a bit of a clear picture of where I'm heading with music, but not only that, but just like being able to connect more with you guys and make more videos and spend more time basically on promotion. So anyway, my new album is gonna be coming out on June 30th. It's called Day Zero, Rise of the Horde. And it's, the, uh, it's part one of a two part album series. I'm not gonna announce the title of the second one, but uh, pretty much everything's written for that. And I'm hoping to have um, that out by the end of this year. If not, it'll be like really early next year, but I'm gonna try and get it out before Christmas anyway. So day zero, Rise of the Horde. This is actually a project which I came up with at the end of 2016. I just finished Spiritual Machines and I took a vacation in Canada and I love the Pacific Northwest. I'm sort of crazy about it. I love the Rocky Mountains and I love, you know, like, you know, lakes, mountain, nature, and I love winter, I love the cold. And it was just such an inspiring trip. I ended up coming up with this sort of idea for a, for a, a new album. And at the time, it wasn't uh, fully developed, but the sound was kind of there in my head. Yeah, I think I'm pretty excited about the direction of it. I mean, it was pretty, obvious early on it was going to be heavily influenced by my early thrash metal influences so anyway today pre-orders are available for um, day zero one that's available from my web store which is um, paulwardingham.store i'll put a link in the description there's a few bundles available uh, more than normal and there's a couple of shirts this time for the first time there's a day zero shirt and there's a we, we are the virus shirt as well and there's also, for the first time, a full album transcription. Yeah, so anyway, go check out the bundles. Uh, I know, look, I know times are really tough now. Um, you know, if you can support, it's awesome. You know, it keeps me doing this. And you know, I've got a ton of new music I'd love to get out in the future. So you're also supporting that by supporting this album and, you know, pre-ordering and so on. But I hope you guys have checked out the first single, We Are The Virus. Thanks so much for all your comments and, um, sharing it around and on social media and on YouTube and everything. It's been a really awesome response. As some of you guys know, I mentioned last year, announced last year that I was working on We Are The Virus and it was gonna be the first single and I was doing a video for it. I couldn't have, could never have imagined that I'd be releasing it right now during a global pandemic. To be honest, I was conflicted about releasing the track with the title We Are The Virus. Some people might be a little bit sensitive to that right now, and I can totally understand that. But the subject matter um, is about, you know, how humanity is affecting this planet. Uh, that's what a lot of my music in, is inspired by, and it's something I'm very passionate about. And so, yeah, it's not about, you know, what's happening now. I'll talk more about the story maybe in another video. You guys know that's how I love making albums. This is my third one, doing a story concept, and. It's uh, just so much fun. It's really how I love making. I mean, there's always two sides to it. There's always like a real, real life, real world sort of um, emotion and everything that I'm going through. And then there's like a science fiction kind of element to the story and the two connect. And that's kind of like how I've always put it together. So anyway, if you haven't heard We Are The Virus and watched the video, go check it out right now or, or after this video. I'll, I'll post a link in the description. The second single is gonna be out in a couple of weeks time from when I make this video. It's called Wirehead. It's the third track on the album. And Wirehead is actually the character I created, like the main protagonist in my story. The face on the cover is Wirehead. And uh, also there's a movie poster that um, Francesco uh, and I worked on, as well as the album cover, which you'll probably see in the bundles, but I'll, 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 you know, I'll be sort of like releasing that. And it just looks awesome. It's, he's done such an amazing job with that. Anyway, I'm gonna try and do more of this kind of thing, uh, talking on here and attempting not to bore the shit out of everyone. You know, if you've got some questions that you want me to answer, if you, you know, anything that uh, you want to know about w what I do or music and stuff, just leave it in the comments and I'll, I'll answer a couple of them in the next video. Thanks so much for all your support. Thanks so much for all your kind words and comments. Um, you know, I read every single one. I really do and appreciate every single one. Thank you very much. 
and uh, I will talk to you soon. Take care of yourselves.